Halloween Horror Nights 33 is here. Let's go do this. That is right, Halloween Horror Nights time. Let's head on in. I am recording this in the middle of October, by the way. I've just never had a time to uh, upload it yet. All right, so there's quite a bit of people um, with me right now. I'm here around 5.30. It starts at 6.30. Already a ton of people lined up, and the scare actors will be coming from right up there. All right, so the event has now begun, and they actually started, the event actually began at 6 instead of uh, 6.30, um, but we're heading on in. There it is right there, 6.30 to 2 a.m., but it started at 6, so maybe they're just giving us some extra time to get in. All right, we have made it in. The scare actors are no longer on top of the, um, on top of the sign anymore. Um, but we're headed on into our first scare zone and onto the first haunted house in the back of the park. Here we go. Oh. Another thing too, if you bring um, like smaller kids here, they always try to go after the smaller kids. Everybody ahead of me is like going, is screaming on the top of their lungs because they're scared. Ooh, this guy. Ooh. That's scary. This is a pretty cool scare zone. I like this one. First one, not too bad. Ooh, look at that. That's not good. Yikes. Ooh, hello. It's always funny when they, like, get up, like, right in your face. Sometimes it's like, it gets annoying sometimes, but it's also cool at times too. Is he gonna do it? Oh, yep. All right. There's nobody on top of the uh, thing back there. There's usually people on top of the, of that set over there, but there's not. Look at this guy. That's not good. Ooh. They have a lot of scare actors out in this one. Usually there's a couple, there's a lot here. All right, here's, there's one of the food booths over there near the NBC section. The next scare zone is the zombie scare zone um, over here near the NBC section. This one's pretty cool. I heard this one's better at night, but I'm kind of liking it in, in, the, uh, in the daytime. This one's following me. Yeah, it's a... Uh, Pretty cool. I'm not too sure what the exact scare zone names are. I didn't really look at that. But I just know this is a zombie themed scare zone. Ooh, is he going to jump out? Is he going to do it? Oh, there he goes. Nice. Kind of reminds me of The Walking Dead in a way. Ooh. I love the fog. It looks very eerie with the fog. I love how they do that. Uh-oh. He's shaking. Oh, the gator's biting him. Uh-oh, that's not good. 
Got some fog here. And we're heading on out of the second scare zone. First haunted house of the night, five minute wait for Museum Deadly Exhibits. We're making our way to the standby entrance. We do not have express for this uh, event tonight. It's all standby. All right, so the line isn't too bad for a five minute wait. The actual entrance is right up there. Right up there's the entrance. So uh, see how long it takes. I'm keeping track. And we're moving. Not taking too long. It's only been two minutes and we're almost in. Kind of nervous. All right, look at the setup for this. They got a little blue van here, blue truck. Um, and the theme of it, theme's a museum. Um, not too sure what this is like, so we're gonna have to see what it's like. All right, next house, 15 minute wait for Slaughter Cinema 2. Let's head on in. The first one, by the way, was a five minute wait for Museum Deadly Exhibits. All right, this is Slaughter Cinema 2 for house number two, and it is only 6.20 right now, guys. And we are making our way through this queue, or making our way through the houses very quickly, and it's a Friday. All right, almost up to Slaughter Cinema 2. They got some cool car, cold, cool old-timey cars out here. And Slaughter Cinema 2 was good. Um, by the way, Deadly Exhibits was good too. Not too scary. Slaughter Cinema 2 was actually the one I was looking forward to, and it was pretty cool. Kind of disturbing though with the Santa, um, with the Santa thing going on with the elf eating people. That was kind of disturbing, but it was a, those were cool houses. Third house, five minute wait, Goblin's Feast. Um, however, this house is a combination. So like Eternal Bloodlines is the other house at a 15 minute wait. So I'm gonna go over to Bloodlines first and then do Goblin's Feast because the queues kind of combine, but there's two separate queues. So instead of walking all the way over to one house, see that's Goblin's Feast's line, and then I am in Eternal Bloodlines Feast. So I'm just gonna hop right back out and go right over to Goblin's after. But look at this, no line. Seriously, the queue's empty. There's Eternal Bloodlines. That's where we're going. I mean, this is crazy for a Friday night. Not a lot of people here. And it's 6.30 right now? Yeah, it just hit 6.30. This is crazy. So I'm technically in my third haunted house almost. Look, the line's getting a little longer as we're heading on into Eternal Bloodlines. Third haunted house out of the way here on a Friday night in the middle of October, which is weird. I am coming on a, what they call a Friday night lights night where it's a football game night. So that might be why, because there's a lot of schools having their football games, which might be the reason why there's not a lot of people here. But anyway, house number four, Goblin's Feast, walking right on up, five minute wait. Seven, it's about uh, six, 650 right now. 6.50, making our way into Goblin's Feast with almost an hour into the event. Here we go. Goblin's Feast was not that good. I, uh, in fact, I, don't, I think it's so bad that they don't even have it on the Universal website when you check wait time. So it was all right. So far, all the houses haven't been too bad. And on my way out of the Goblin's Feast house area, there's a rocket going off. I saw everybody stopping and looking and I had to look. Look at that. Hope you guys can see it. All right, making our way into the Blumhouse Scare Zone. This is Scare Zone number three. Actually, Scare Zone number four because there was one in the very beginning that I filmed during the day that I didn't say was a Scare Zone, but it was. But here we are. Blumhouse. Oh. Oh, hello. You got close. What's she doing with the bat? Oh, okay. I thought she was going to come over to us. This scare zone's pretty cool. Blumhouse. I've seen several of their movies. 
We're gonna go over and see Megan in a second. Once we get past this. Ooh, this is creepy. What's she doing with the bat? Oh, hello. I thought she was gonna come at me. Okay, I guess not. I thought she was gonna try to swing the bat or something like the other guy tried to. Ooh. He's got a spray can bottle. Here's Megan. Hello. Well, we're not near her. Somebody's talking to her right now, but closest I can get. All right, the next house on the list, 45 minute wait's getting a little busier. It's about eight o'clock right now. Major Sweets Candy Factory for house number five. Halfway through, can we do it? Let's go. All right, I'm about halfway through the queue right now for Major Sweets Candy Factory. Just got out of Candy Factory. It was pretty good. They're starting to get better as we go towards the front of the park. Um, I'm just really excited for Insidious. That's the one I'm, that's the hyped house. So I'm pretty excited for that, but making our way into the final scare zone up here. Um, this is a pretty violent one I'm seeing here, but um, let's check it out. That's crazy. Oh, even worse on this side. Wow. By the way, my dad filmed this part because I'm filming. I filmed short style for this part and he filmed this. So shout out to my dad for that. I'm voicing over this section. Oh. This scare zone's pretty cool. I have to say, oh, he's talking to that person. This is a pretty cool scare zone. House number six, 35 minute wait for Triplets of Terror. Here we go. Stand by. Universal Orlando welcomes HHN 33. There, that's like a store in there, if you guys didn't know. You can go in there and shop around. Obviously, I'm sure you guys knew that because when I'm um, when this video is uploaded is, well, it's in November, so I'm sure you guys know. All right, so we are in Triplets of Terror line. That line over in the distance is for Insidious. I am in the line for Triplets of Terror, so it's moving pretty good. We're about halfway there. All right, so that's the house for Insidious. I'm continuing to go straight for Triplets of Terror. It's only been about 25 minutes. All right, Triplets of Terror, house number six done. That one was kind of silly. Um, it was okay. And we have some food booths over here. Obviously, they're new food booths every year. I like the Chucky one last year. I actually did a short on that one, if you guys didn't know, if you want to go check that out. Um, but here's Ivan's food booth. And dun-dun-dun, you're going to call Ghostbusters. They have a Ghostbusters food booth here. That's a pretty cool one, and it's a Frozen booth. Get it? Because the Frozen Empire, the house, which we are going into soon. Um... Oh, so this one's my favorite scare zone so far. We're going back over here real quick um, to check something out. I don't know. Have you guys noticed this? Because even though, you know, obviously everybody that's went, no, 
Like, have you guys known this? Have you seen this? Look at this. I did not know they did that. Did you guys know that? Even if you went, did you catch this on your Halloween Horror Nights trip? It's kind of, you know, hidden. That is cool. It's like tearing somebody apart up there. Let me know in the comments if you guys have seen this or not when you were at Horror Nights because it's kind of hidden. And we have some more food boots over here. Really long lines for them for Haunted Fanta and whatever's going on over there at that one. There, there is Mel's Die-In. Get it? Instead of Drive-In. I like how they do that every year. It really fits with the Horror Night theme. Alright, Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. 65 minutes. It is currently 10 o'clock. So let's get in line. All right, almost to Ghostbusters. It's getting a little busier, but hey, for house number seven, we're doing good. We're doing great. Um, it's only 10 o'clock on a Friday night and we're doing pretty good. We're going over to Soundstage. So we just got out of Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. That one was a little better, especially the, uh, the monster at the end was really cool. Monstrous Latin of America, 65 minute wait for house number eight. Let's go do this. All right, making our way to the queue so far. We're just walking right on in. Um, I'm interested for this one. This one, I I don't know what this one's like. So but tell them by the line, it's not that long of a wait. Like there's not a lot of crowd. There's a little bit of a line here, but I mean, it's not too bad. So let's go check it out. All right, so I just got out of that. That one was disturbing because they were eating babies in that one. I just, to me, that's kind of disturbing. And I love horror stuff, but that's, that's kind of disturbing. And second to last house, a quiet place at the 70 minute wait. Here we go. This is the main one of the year. Well, one of them. The line for Quiet Place is quite long. Let's see how long it takes. So far, all of the houses have been wrong with their wait time. So they've all been less than what they said. All right, right around this corner, right around this uh, wall here is uh, the house. All right, just got out of Quiet Place. That one was, that one was pretty good. I like that one, it was worth the wait. Um, and now onto the final house of the night. It is 12.30 a.m. right now, guys. 135 minutes for Insidious the Further. We're doing it. I usually wouldn't wait over two hours for a house, but guess what? This is the house. This is the hyped one. And we're doing it. We've been in line for about 15 minutes. Let's see how long it takes. It is currently 12.45 in the morning. The event ends at 2. So uh, let's see how long it takes. I'm excited for this one. All right, we're getting ready to go on in. I will let you know what it's like at the end. Um, actually, my stomach kind of hurts right now. So let's see. All right, Insidious the Further. It wasn't actually that bad, and I'll tell you why. There were too many people, like, they had a massive conga line going, so, like, the jump scares popped out in front of me, so it wasn't as bad. But it was a good house. We got through all 10, headed back out to the car right now to end off Horror Night. And with that, everyone, that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We got to go through all 10 haunted houses in all five scare zones, which was great for a Friday night in the middle of October. Um, I really enjoyed it. Um, have you guys made it through all 10 haunted houses at Horror Nights if you went? If so, let me down in the comments down below. And which one was your favorite? I'll see you in the next video. Thank, thank you for joining me. Bye-bye.